Camille Pierre, uh, third, third time this season, freshman of the week. That's a program record. I know you've talked about how she hasn't played basketball for a whole long. Did you realize that you were going to get this much out of her before the season started? No. <laughs> I mean, I hoped. I think as a, as you know, for me, the, the way that I operate, I hope for the best and I prepare for the worst. Right, so I hoped because you can see, I think you guys have watched enough basketball to see she's clearly supremely talented mm -hmm. and athletic um, and her, her potential is through the roof, sky high, truly. So, but I also know how hard it is to compete at this level, um, especially when you're young and you haven't played competitive basketball for very long. But uh, credit to Camille because I'm not sure I've been harder on anyone on our team than her. And coming in as a freshman and all the talent that she has far away from home, at Vanderbilt academically, there's plenty of reasons for her to just be like, I can't do it, you know? And she's battled through and she's persevered. And, and I'm really, really happy for her and our team that she's seeing what hard work can do for you. You know, what being consistent in your approach and yeah, in your preparation for wanting to be great can do for you. And she's literally just scratched the surface. I mean, there's things that she doesn't practice that you guys haven't seen yet. And you just, I can't wait for her to be comfortable and confident enough to be able to do those things. And my hope is that, you know, by the time we get into the NCAA tournament, she's playing the best basketball of the year for her, of her career, her young career. And then we'll just continue to build on that. But the way she's playing right now is what we really need. We needed an infusion of energy. We needed an infusion of scoring, you know, from more than a couple of people, another weapon, another threat, um, another big athlete that could impact the game offensively and defensively. And she's been all of that, um, especially the last game. This um, this weekend you have you know your your rematch with Tennessee and it's the first rematch of the season. So what did you kind of learn from the first matchup there? Hmm. I'm not gonna say what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that when we're playing really well, we can compete to win any game in our conference for the most part. Um, and then we're not. We we also are not good enough yet to make the mental and physical mistakes that we made during like a crucial time in the game where we just couldn't recover. You know, we, the game was tied. We weren't up 10, we weren't up 15. Um, so I think we gave up a three on a really simple play that we guard almost every day in practice. And it felt like a dagger. It wasn't, but it felt like that on the road. So my hope is that even though we've struggled a little bit in terms of results from that game to now, that we have learned um, immensely what we need to do to be competitive. I love that it's at home. Mm -hmm. I love that it's our alum weekend. I think the environment atmosphere is gonna be amazing. We'd love to get as many people as we can in the stands to support our players because it's a game I think we can win. And, um, and I'm hoping that we've improved enough since that, that game that we played at their place and through the last six, um, to, to know what we have to do and to be able to do it when it's time um, to win that game. Talk about what you, what you see for your upcoming matchup this Thursday and what you see in Texas a and this season. Uh, they play really hard. They, I, I know their coach very well. Um, she was an assistant at Georgia for a long time when I was at UConn and uh, I have a lot of respect for what she does and how she coaches. Um, so I know our kids are going to compete and play hard. They're, you know, just like most of the teams we're playing in our league, very big, very athletic, and, and pretty well coached. So I think on the road, you, you have to play a solid game. And for us, for me, that always starts with our defense. One of the things that sticks out to me specifically about them is how well they rebound the ball. So I think we have to do a very, very good job of not only making them take a tough shot, but then putting bodies on their athletes and making sure that we don't give up offensive rebounds because at, at this stage in the game, it's either going to be a layup and probably a foul or a wide open three that's going to go in. So we cannot give up clean rebounds and give teams that should that only need one possession, give them four. I mean, that's not a recipe for success. 
especially against them. So we have to do a really good job of making sure that we rebound, um, defend well, and then make sure that we take great shots. We don't turn the ball over for layups. And, you know, and, and that we value the ball enough to get a great possession on offense every time down the floor. How important was it to get back in the win column against Georgia on the road this weekend? I mean, you guys said it. I think it was a must win. It really was. I mean, it, it was a must win for a bunch of reasons. Um, certainly for momentum's sake, you know, it was we were struggling. And there were games where I felt like we gave away. Um, but our confidence had taken a hit. And, um, and it's during that time of the season where it can feel like a slog. You know, we still have a month left, but a month is a long time. A lot can happen in a month, but we've been going essentially since June. This team went to Italy in, in August. So there was this lull that you felt start to creep up and really, really proud of, especially my veterans for making sure that our locker room stayed connected and that they came out and battled in practice. We watched film, we got better. And it was a road win, I mean, too, to end that, to end that losing streak. So it, there, I probably can't put it into words how important it was, but for a bunch of different reasons, that game was a game we had to have, and we got it. On, from the Georgia game, just another new starting five for you. Is that something you're going to continue to to look at based off of who you're playing or sticking with the five against Georgia? What does that look like going forward? So we we had had an injury to Jordan Oliver's ankle wasn't great, um, but I am I am toying with just kind of basing my decision on matchups and on practice and on overall health. So I'm a pretty intuitive coach. I'm not like hard and fast on on anything. I feel like that's gotten me a long a long way in my career, uh, and so I'm going to be paying attention to how our players are practicing, what groups look well together and what matchups we're going to see down the stretch. Because I do think that um, playing some different lineups, playing different people at different times has helped us. And so we're going to stick with that.